In this problem, we're given the ingredients required to make 12 shortcakes. Down here, look. Now, we're told that Liz makes some shortcakes and she uses 25 millilitres of milk. Now, if we know that 10 millilitres of milk equals 12 shortcakes, then another 10 millilitres will make another 12 shortcakes. So another 5 millilitres will make half of this, which is 6 shortcakes. So, if Liz uses 25, 10, 10 and 5, then 25 millilitres will equal 12, plus 12 is 24, plus 6, which is 30 shortcakes. So Liz has made 30 shortcakes. Now a different person, Robert, has lots and lots of ingredients. And the question is, how many shortcakes could Robert make with these limitations? Now then, if we know that 50 grams of sugar makes 12 shortcakes, then if you've got 500 grams, then you could in theory make 10 lots of 12, which is 120 shortcakes, in theory. However, if 200 grams makes 12, then 1,000 will make 5 lots of 12, which is 60. So, this limitation means you can, you can only make 60. Again, 1,000 is 5 times 200. Again, 5 times 12 is 60. So even though he's got enough sugar to make this many shortcakes, the amount of butter and flour limits Robert to 60 shortcakes. Now the milk, 10 to 500 is times by 50. So if I do 50 times 12, I get to 600 shortcakes. So Robert's got lots and lots of milk. But given these ingredients, he can only make 60 shortcakes at most. Having made those shortcakes, he'll have lots of milk left over and some sugar will use up all the butter and all the flour.